everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Francesca thank you guys so much for tuning in in this video I'll be talking about three pasta dishes I'll be talking about teatel in creamy mascarpone sauce seafood linguine in white wine sauce and spaghetti meatballs so if you want to find out a bit more about how to make these dishes then keep on watching for the first pasta dish we'll be making teatel in creamy mascarpone sauce to make this dish bring salt water to a boil and add the teatel let it cook until it's al dente. This should take typically about seven to eight minutes. And to a blender, add a tin of chopped tomatoes, two garlic cloves, and a few sprigs of fresh basil, and blend away. Once this is done, add a tablespoon of good olive oil to a hot pan and some chopped onions. Let the onions sit and cook until it's translucent. And once that is done, add the blended tomatoes into the pan and let it sit and cook. After three minutes, while continuously stirring. Add two tablespoons of creamy mascarpone cheese and stir in. Add, some, add a pinch of salt and black pepper on to your liking and some extra chili flakes for extra heat. Once the sauce is to your taste, add your pasta and stir in. And there you have it, your teotel in creamy mascarpone sauce. Serve the pasta with freshly chopped parsley. The next pasta dish that we're going to talk about is my all-time favourite. It is seafood linguine in white wine sauce. It's so simple to make and so, so elegant and so decadent. It's, it's amazing. I just love it. Now to make this, bring salt water to a boil and let it cook for about 9 to 10 and let the pasta, which is the linguine, cook for 9 to 10 minutes until it's al dente, to your liking. To a hot pan, add a tablespoon of good olive oil add minced garlic and chopped onions. When the, once the onions become translucent, add your seafood and let it cook. While the seafood cooks, add a generous amount of white wine to the seafood let, and let the alcohol heat up. But be sure to also save some for dinner. Let the alcohol heat up and season with salt and pepper to your liking. Add some extra chili flakes for that kick of heat. And once that is done and to your taste, add your pasta and chopped cherry tomatoes and stir in. To take your dish to an extra step to Italy, add freshly chopped parsley and there you have it, your seafood linguine in white wine sauce. And for the final pasta dish, we'll be making spaghetti meatballs. I mean, it's, you, can ease, you can simply just buy your meatballs from the supermarket. But I want to talk you guys through on how to actually make your meatballs from scratch because that way you know what's going into your meatballs and you know that your food is not as processed. So to make the meatballs, mix 500 grams of minced meat, add one egg, some salt and pepper and garlic paste, add some breadcrumbs. This measurement should make about 12 to 15 meatballs. A generous tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. Once that is done, then combine the mixture and mold the meatballs. Be careful not to make the meatballs too big. This would ensure that it cooks evenly. To a hot pan, add a tablespoon of olive oil. Let the meatballs brown on, on its sides. This should take about five to six minutes. Like every pasta dish, bring salt water to a boil and add your spaghetti. Let it cook until it's al dente. To make the sauce, add to a hot pan a tablespoon of, a tablespoon of good olive oil, some, chopped, some minced garlic and chopped onions and let the onions cook until it's translucent. Once that is done, add a tin of chopped tomatoes, a pinch of sugar. I know you're probably thinking sugar. Yeah, because sugar actually reduces the tartness of the tomatoes. So add a pinch of sugar and let this cook and let this simmer for about five to six minutes. Add salt and pepper to your taste, so extra chili flakes if you like. Add one basil, combine the meatballs to the tomato sauce. Don't forget to bring out the bay leaves. Let the meatballs cook into the sauce for about two to three minutes and there you have it. Serve your wonderful sauce with your spaghetti. To make any of these pasta dishes a bit more wholesome, serve with salad on the side and some grated parmesan cheese. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope this video was helpful and if it was please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also follow my Instagram account at allinsummer and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!